What's happening? Episode three. Let's go. Yeah, what's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin', people? I want to welcome y'all back to episode three of Plug Match TV, an extension of uh, PlugMatch.com, a social network for music professionals. You need to check that out. And um, today we got a we got a good good show for y'all. I got a special guest. Um, it's one of my homies. Definitely been supporting for a long time and everything I do. I definitely salute him. And you know today's topic, we're going to talk about um, how to push your music. And get paid now this is for artists uh, that are wondering you know how to go about pushing their records and and some revenue streams they could tap into to get paid and uh, I couldn't find a better person to do than to talk about this with than, than my homie Greg Gates he's uh, the manager of gutta gutta which is signed to young money little Wayne uh, he's been doing this forever I mean he has a lot of experience he's an OG in the music game and uh, I'm happy to have him on the show I want to welcome him, and we're going to jump straight into it, homie. We're going to jump straight into it. Now, the um, the first question I want to ask you is, um, how, for artists, you know, uh, that are first that are just starting out right here, or even artists that have been doing this for a while, but they might not have a clue at how to really go about doing things, is um, how do you how do you guys go about pushing new music? How do you go about pushing a record, you know, a project, a mixtape? How do you go about pushing new music? Uh, you know, when it relates to y'all, and what what kind of what kind of advice you got for people when you know about pushing their music? Um, if you could elaborate on that for us, the process I use for um, promoting new music when it comes out. From uh, you know, obviously I managed Gutta Gutta from Young Money as the manager for almost ten years. Um, he generally tends to just drop his stuff straight out the gate um, through Dat Piv, through Hot New Hip Hop, because we have good relationships with those people. But um, also, I kind of backdoor a lot of stuff with uh, my relationships with uh, the blogs with uh, different DJs, getting that push and promotion. I just do that, that process is just me hitting people up, say, hey, we got new music, uh, what do you need from us, drops, um, any type of exclusive, which we usually don't do because other DJs get mad about that. But uh, we definitely try to, you know, give them access to the artists. And, you know, it's a trade off, it's about relationships in this industry because you can get a lot done with no money if you have good relationships. So um, we, we attack everything, you know, as soon as the music drops and try to get as much, uh, you know, airplay out of it as possible. Okay. Um, all right, cool. Um, now, another thing, uh, you know, another part of what we talked about in the beginning of the show is um, for artists are trying to figure out how to make money right now. You know, that's a big thing to keep this going, to keep this engine going is how do I make money? You know, um, for new artists, for old artists, I mean, what's a good revenue stream they could tap into? You know, how they should how should they be trying to make their money right now? Uh, what's a good resource? What are some tips uh, so that they can make money off their music some good revenue streams that they can tap into? Um, what are some revenue sources? that artists can dig into um right now streaming is probably where you're going to get your money from your music um if you can do mixtapes itunes uh tune core things of that nature you have to be creative a lot of times i tell artists you know you have to look at the merch are you you know merch capable are you marketable because there's a lot of money in the merchandise now so i would tell artists you know figure out what's good for you for your merchandise and you know, take a take advantage of it. Look at two chains right now with the ugly sweat Santa sweaters. Like who thought that that would be? You know that he was that big that he could sell those things and sell out. You know, um, look at uh, you know clothing. The, the things that were big in the '90s um, are coming back. Movies, doing your own independent movies, uh, clothing. Um, 
merchandise in general, things that can generate you know your funds and, and tremendous funds. You can bundle that with your mixtape, and you can make a lot of money just going to shows and selling your merch. Okay. Um. All right. All right. All right. Um. Now, um, for artists, for all artists, of course, but especially new artists that are coming into this game for the very first time, um. You know, because this game, it's 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 a lot of work, and it's you have to be smart about how you go about doing things, and you have to be willing to put in the work. What kind of advice do you got for artists coming in right now? You know, what's what 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 some strategies that you can give them, some inside information, man, some some real knowledge that you can give them, uh, so they can maneuver through this game. Uh, you know, basically, uh, what advice can you give to a new artist coming up in this music business? Um, if you can elaborate on that. So, um, what advice would I give um, a new artist coming in this business? Um, one of the main things I would say is, first of all, it takes money to make money. So, you can't come in this business thinking you get everything for free because you're confusing the culture of music with the business of music. So, understand, you're gonna make, you gotta spend some money. If you got money for Jordans and you know all your recreational, you know stuff that you do, you know, in the clubs, after the clubs, and, you know, in the hood, you got enough money to um, pay for services. Second, I would say, build your buzz up, because coming to some artist or some A&R with your hand out and nobody knows who you are, you're probably going to get rejected off the bat. And uh, third is, you have to be consistent and you have to grind. This business is not for people who don't want to hustle. Your net, the, the, the biggest and best artists are always the best hustlers, period, point blank. It's really about putting in the work, and I think a lot of artists underestimate that that, that you got to put in the work. I think a lot of artists come at, uh, at me, and they, they you know a lot of conversations I hear, uh, well, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough money to push my record, I don't have enough money to do this. You know, the one factor that can uh, even us out when you, when you don't have money is you put in the work. The less money you got, the more work you got to put in. And people don't want to hear that, so I definitely agree with you on putting in the work. It's a grind. And I mean, that really goes with anything in life. So anyone listening, just put in the work, man. It's, you got to put in the, the 10 hours, 12 hours a day, and you know, no sleep. You got to have them droopy eyes, baby. Believe me, I know you gotta have them bloodshot eyes, baby. You know what I'm saying? As always, thank you for joining us, homie. Shout out to you, uh, Greg. I appreciate you taking the time to join us right here on Plug Match TV, an extension of PlugMatch.com, a social network for music professionals. And to you, the viewer, man, I need y'all to leave some comments below. I need y'all to subscribe. Subscribe so you can get notified when the content drops. And as always, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Snapchat. If you're on Twitter, I'm on there. Twitter, uh, I'm Plug, Mac, Plug Match Social. Uh, everything else is Plug Match. And, you know, until next time, I'm going to be right here doing my thing. I'm going to be right here working. Plug Match. Listening to some music. Doing what I do. Holla at me.